Welcome back to a new episode where we are going to create our first navigation. Since we've created our document structure and talked about most of the beginning topics, I want to start creating a working portfolio page. As you can see on my screen, this is the navigation that we will be creating today. If we look around on the web, so let's say that we go to airbnb.com, you probably have seen that most of web developers use the same structure for the navigation. So the logo is almost always on the left hand side and the links are always on the right hand side. And that's kind of what I want to do today. So let's go back to our code editor and let me zoom in. So the first thing that we need to do is to create header tags inside our body. The first thing that we need to create is a nav element. And the nav element is basically where the links should be placed in. So let's write down nav, N-A-V, hit tab, hit enter. We also want to give our nav a class. And let's go inside the element. Let's create a class. And let's call it nav hyphen container. This could be done easier. And the way we can make it easier is by writing down nav, punctuation mark, followed by the class name. So let's say nav hyphen container. And let's hit tab. And you can see that the nav is created with a class inside of it. Now inside our nav, we want to use a new element called an unordered list. While you don't need to write down unordered list, you can use a shortcut, which is UL. Let's hit tab. Let's hit enter again. And an unordered list is basically a list of items with bullet points. We can also use an ordered list, and that can be created by writing down OL. And this is basically numbers. So whenever we use UL, so an unordered list, we will use bullet points. And whenever we use an ordered list, we will get the numbers one until, well, the amount of items you have inside your unordered list. Every unordered list has list items inside of it. So let's write down LI, which stands for list items. Let's hit tab. What we want is, well, let's write down some text. So let's say home. Let's save it. Let's go back to the browser. Let's refresh it. And you can see that the home button isn't clickable right now. So what we need to do is to put our home text inside an anchor element. So let's write down A. Hit tab. So in between the text, let's write down home. And in the hyperlink reference, let's write down index, punctuation mark, HTML. So let's save it, refresh the browser, and you can see that we just created a clickable link. Now, what we can do is write everything out right now, but let's just copy paste our list item and change the text. So we need one more for the about page and the uh, href is about. We need another one for our portfolio page. And the last one that we need is our contact page. So let's create that one as well. Now let's save it, refresh the browser, and this is what we want. Well, we actually want to add a logo. So let's go to the browser and let's go to pixabay.com. And let's just search for our logo. And you can use it whatever you want, but I will scroll down and I will actually use the red circle. So let's save it. Uh, well, I'm not a robot. Click on download again. And let's go back to our HTML tutorial folder. Let's go inside our image folder and let's, well, paste our image right here. We actually want to make the name easier. So let's say, logo website so right now we need to go back to our code editor and right above our nav we need to create an image with the source that is in the image folder and the name logo website and it is an png so let's save it let's go back to the browser refresh it and it's not showing the image well, that's because we don't need the forward slash. Save it, refresh it, and this is what we want for now. Well, let's start styling it actually. So let's go back to our style sheet. 
Well, the first thing that I want to do is to set the HTML styling to the width 100%, the height 100%, and I want to set the font family equal to Montserrat. And let's copy it because we need to do the same thing for our body, but we don't need the font family. And let's change HTML to body. So let's go back to the browser, refresh it, and you won't see anything right now because we need to style our header right now because all the content is placed inside the header elements. So let's say header and let's give it a height of 60 pixels and let's give it a background color of F0, F0, F0. Save it, refresh the browser and that's kind of what we want. We want to make the image smaller. So let's say header image because our image is placed inside the header and let's set the width to 40 pixels save it refresh the browser and well that's all right for now what you can see right now is that everything will be printed right below each other but what we want is to push our list items so all the links to the right hand side of our screen so let's go back to the code editor and below header well let me Add a comment here so it stays at the bottom. What we want to do right here is to style our class of our navigation, which is punctuation mark nav hyphen container. The way we let our navigation float to the right is by saying float colon right. Now, if we inspect our well page, you can see that there is a margin in our body which is a default of eight pixels. So let's go back to our body tag. Let's set margin equal to zero. Save it, refresh the browser, and this looks good. The next thing that I want to style are the list items. So let's go back to the code editor, right below our nav container. So we need to write down punctuation mark nav container. So we want to style our list items, and these are placed in an unordered list and we want to style the list items. And what we actually want to say is display inline block, which places the elements next to each other like this. Well, you can see that if we inspect our element and we go to our unordered list, there is a margin at the top and the bottom. So let's go back to our code editor. Let's copy our unordered list list item styling. Let's place it right above. Let's remove the list item inside of it. And let's set the margin equal to zero. Save it, refresh the browser, and that looks good. We also want to style our anchor elements because they are blue right now. So let's copy it again, paste it. And after our list items, we want to go inside our anchors. And what we want to do right here is to set the color equal to 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, which is black. And we want to set the text decoration because we want to remove the underline to none. Let's save it, refresh the browser, and this looks better. We also want to place the elements in the middle. And the way you do that is by setting the position equal to relative. And since our height of our well header is 60 pixels, it doesn't mean that the middle is 30 pixels because, well, divided by two, it's 30. What we can do is to add a styling called top. And well, let's set it to 30 pixels first. So let's save it, refresh it. And you can see that this is definitely not the middle of the screen. And what I like to do is to align my elements at the bottom of my header. So let's go back to our code editor. And let's set the top equal to 44 pixels, save it, refresh it. And you can see that, well, the bottom of my links are on the line of the header. And what we can do right now is to split 44 by two, which is 22. So let's test it out. And you can see that the elements are in the middle right now. Now, we also want to align the last item, so contact, away from the, well, right-hand side of the screen because there's no white space. So what we can do is, well, we have our top, but we can also say right. 
And what we want to do from the right is, well, 120 pixels from the right. So let's save it, refresh it, and this looks better. But we also want to create space around our elements because they are aligned next to each other. So let's go back to our code editor. And let's say that the margin is equal to zero pixels top, zero right, zero bottom, but we want 20 pixels to the left. Save it, refresh the browser, and this looks good. Well, let's also add a hover on the buttons or the anchors. So what we can do is to copy our nav container, paste it, and right after the A, let's hit colon hover. And we can actually remove everything besides of the color. And let's set the color equal to, well, something like the background color, but I don't want it to be the same color. So let's say 666, 666. And we also want to have a transition because we want it to transition slowly and change from color. And it needs to be 0.25 seconds and it needs to ease in. Save it, refresh the browser, and this is what we want. What we actually can do is to add an active class on the page that we are. So let me show you what I mean by that. Let's go back to our index.html. And right now, we are on our home page. So let's go in our list item styling. Let's hit space, write down class, and set it equal to active. Save it. Go back to our style sheet. And let's say punctuation mark active, curly brackets. And we want to add a border bottom of one pixel solid and 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 is the color. So let's save it refresh the browser and well this is not what we want because I think I made a mistake well the active class needs to be in our anchor so let's copy it paste it in our anchor save it refresh the browser and this is actually what we want you can see that the border bottom is pretty close to the text so let's go back to our style sheet and in our nav container ul lia let's add a padding because we want to add padding to the bottom so there is a little bit more space in between and we want it to be a little bit longer so let's say top is zero pixels four pixels right six pixels bottom and four pixels right again so let's save it refresh the browser and this looks better we also want to change the position of our image so let's go back to the top, to header image. Let's set the position equal to relative as well. But instead of saying right 120 pixels, we want to set the left equal to 120 pixels. So let's save it, refresh the browser, and this looks, well, pretty good. Because right now, our left and the right of the menu are both 120 pixels before the element starts. We also want to place the image right in the middle. So let's go back to our style sheet and let's say top 20 pixels, which goes to the bottom of our header and let's divide it by two again. So the top is 10 pixels. Let's refresh it and the logo is in the middle. This was it for this episode. And in the next episode, I want to create a full responsive background image that is parallax as well. I also want to add some content on top of it. If you do enjoy my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up and if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.